He damn near smoked you. You see it on twerk. It's your boy James. Trust the process. I want to just talk about protecting your peace and sometimes it's not easy to protect your peace. Sometimes we have to go through those hard times in order to appreciate the good times. Stop being dirty. It's your boy James with the Stop Being Dirty, Stop Eating Dirty, Trust the Process, Protect Your Peace. Link in the bottom for all the merchandise. If you're watching right now, I appreciate that. I appreciate you hit that subscribe button. Consistency. You wanna stay consistent in whatever you're doing. Whatever you're doing, stay consistent and the results are basically endless. Dieting, fitness, with me, my reading, my blogging. You know, I've been trying to stay on my books. You know, I fell off with reading my books as much as I as much as I used to. Don't read as much as I used to. Now I'm getting back, making sure I read at least a chapter, at least one chapter. You know what I'm saying? The blogging, trying to stay consistent on the channel, just to um just in all aspects of my life, you know, I feel like the more we are consistent with something, the better we get at it. And if you're already good at something, you only could get better by staying consistent with it. So I understand sometimes we tee top. Oh my God, what is going on, people? What happened? Y'all had like an NWX like like dinner, and, and someone ran off on the bill, or someone brought up somebody's ex girlfriend, or like. Farted at the table? Like, what's happening? You know? First, DNA and Kayshawn. Uh, not DNA and Kayshawn. Sorry. I don't... I, don't, I, I my, my, my assumption was there was a fallout between DNA and Kayshawn. And that's why DNA decided to leave NWX. Like I said, there's nothing but hoopla going around because nobody truly knows what's going on. For all we know, this is a hoax. And ain't none of this true and, and i'm gonna be the first to say if this is cap i'm just saying hypothetically speaking respectfully if this is all cap and made up and y'all not serious y'all corny like this would be so corny if this isn't real like dead ass serious like i'd rather y'all not be friends anymore than you joking about not being friends like everybody 30 plus in this crew some of y'all pushing close to 40 like you need to stop stop Stop. Stop. So I'm thinking that everything is serious, but if it's just for a publicity stunt, I mean, seriously, that that's really, it's crazy. But I don't think it is. I don't, I don't think they corny like that. I don't think that's, I think this really happened and this was going down. Um, especially after, uh, I seen Chris Unbias put out a blog and he said, he made a good point in saying that he feels like DNA had basically said hollow beat k Sean. so many words that's what dna said and us knowing k Sean from what we know from he, he he's very aggressive could get emotional at sometimes and in his feelings and that does seem like something he might get his feelings in like yo bro like how you gonna say i lost on on, on, on camera like you're supposed to be gang and they might have had an argument that might have happened and who knows who knows but now today i'm online and i see t-top and rain kind of having a couple words now at first when i seen a t-top write to him and say yo we could set it up you know get in the ring fuck the back and forth i'm thinking like all right something don't seem right about this like this now this just seemed made up and fake but what 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 threw me off was rain tweeted um he he said he he said i'm trying to think exactly quote unquote what he said he said chill out dog i know you in real life let's not do this now for me for me personally when i see a line like that it's basically in so many words it's like a threat of someone's character it's like yo bro don't don't take this route with me i know you for real it's almost trying to son him or play him in a sense of being like yo like don't talk to me any certain way i know you for real you ain't like that not to say that's what he meant i'm just this all assumption this is me making a blog off of a tweet so we have to keep in mind that, but how would y'all take it see that this this is why we do this this is why we do this dialogue here subscribe to the channel and write in the comments how would you take a tweet or or anyone telling you like yo you don't want to do this i know you for real is that not a form of like, yo, watch who you talking to, I know you not like that. Or, or, or don't do that, da, 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 I know. It doesn't seem like a compliment, let's say that, that much. Again, 
let's throw out there it does seem a little weird this happened in between King, uh, uh, D, D, uh, DNA Lee's NWX now suddenly a day later Rain and T-Top is doing this they might I don't know what would they get out of making this up other than looking corny mind you I ain't calling out corny I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt of saying this is for real and y'all not doing this on some made up shit cause that would be so corny so I'm doing, a, I'm doing, I'm taking the route of y'all not corny, y'all really just not getting along. You know, I, I seen another one, uh, it rain tweeted, it's the end of an era. And maybe it is, maybe it is. I mean, NWX really not benefiting anybody anymore. You know, like why not split up, do your own thing. Everybody's really doing their own ventures anyway. So, you know, I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. You know, then again, you know, I did, you know, Kayshawn and T-Top was just at an event together. Rain was at Summer Madness. DNA and K Shine, you know, allegedly were just uh, at the BT Wars to get. You, I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Or gonna be at the. Whatever I heard about the. Listen, I hear a lot of things. We don't know what's true or fact. We only, could, we only could judge things off of what is presented to us. And currently, what's, presented, what's getting presented to us is the crew not getting along. You know what I'm saying? So, what can you do? Is it official NWX? Where's she at? You know, you got. um. Big T ain't down no more. T top is it's, it's like well, who knows? Who who knows? Who know? Nobody really knows what's going on. Who know? Who says that? Somebody said that. That reminded me. It's a DME Detroit says. Who knows? Who knows? I think he said something like I I don't know. But uh, what do y'all think? Y'all think they just faking it? Do you think it's a threat to say I know you in real life? T top is adding URL TV. Tell them set it up. Let's put it this way. Let's end this ball this way. Who would win a battle between T-Top and Rain? Didn't even feel right saying it. Of course T-Top's going to win. Give me a fucking break. Rain got some ill freestyles here and there, but this is a whole different ball game. You can't just step in the ring just because you make good music. I've heard Vado have better verses on his tracks than he did in a battle. You know what I'm saying? Like, battle rap is a whole different entity. I don't think Rain want to step into this and go at it with T-Top. I just don't see it going well for him at all. Uh, do you think they just making it up? Do you think it's for real? Do you think it's not? If the battle went down, is that something you want to see? Is everybody just trying to get a bag and get on this Drake card? Yo, let's make it seem like this. Oh, yo, I heard. Oh, man, what if that's what it is? Oh, you put in Sue Surf. Oh, I see you doing a couple rematches. You have Sue Surf versus Calico. And then you have the other re the rematch I heard is on the card. I ain't going to spoil it. Actually, there's three matches in the car. It's Rum Nitty and Rex. They told him trying to do that. They ain't trying to do Sue Surf and Calico. And then the one they didn't announce, I ain't going to throw it out there because they ain't announced it yet. So there's three rematches. Maybe k and the DNA is just trying to get a rematch going on. That's why they're doing this. Everybody, oh, man. I hate it. I hate it. But I'm here to report on it. I'm trying to stay consistent. I'm seeing shit. I'm talking about it. We need to get the channel moving. I can't be falling off the way I be falling off. You know, leaving at a week at a time. and give you all two blogs a day for five days in a row. Do y'all like the two blogs a day? Is it too much of gyms? Do you like the morning blog, the night blog? Do you do one at noon, one to around eight? Let me know. Too much, too little. You want three a day, one a day, none a day? Let me know, man. I'm here. I'm with y'all. Appreciate y'all right now. If you're subscribed to the channel, please do it. Hit that like button, that dirty little bell. All that good shit. Trust the process. Protect your peace. Stop being dirty. Don't fake break up with your friends. Don't fake. Don't 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 do that. We too grown for that. This better be real. I hope you all hate each other and everybody breaks up and just battles each other. Fuck that group shit. This is a one-on-one -on -one sport. Let's get back to it. Rain. Don't get in the rain. You'll get washed. Stop being dirty.